Hey guys, this is Damien from Dame Tech, and I'm back with another video. Since I primarily play Genshin on this iPhone 13 Pro Max, I noticed a performance improvement after updating to iOS 15.3.1 or iOS 15.4. I couldn't officially test in iOS 15.4 due to beta having developer mode disabled. However, performance is relatively the same. Nevertheless, in this video, I will conduct an FPS test at max settings and 25 Celsius ambient temperature, as well as show a real-time FPS overlay for those interested in seeing this test. Definitely make sure to check out the end as I will discuss conclusive results and data charts. In summary, I will show FPS results for a 15 minute test, as well as a 22 minute FPS test to measure FPS averages and performance throttling. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you at the end of this video. the world works. Visit treasures. Yes, this seems suitably sophisticated.
make the most of these supplies. She'll treasure this good fortune.
show them. Whirling snow. Roar the owl's house. Boing, boing, boing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dumpy, dumpy, go. Take flight. Call me Santa Art. Sumetsu. Treasure this good fortune. Inside. Now let's talk about the FPS averages. For the first 15 minute test, FPS averages are relatively the same when compared to my previous test I did last year when I initially got this iPhone 13 Pro Max. However, I must note for this recent test, it's 15 minutes long while the previous test was only a 10 minute test. Now looking at the 22 minute test, here's where we start to see the performance improvement. As you can see when looking at my data chart, the iPhone starts to throttle around 17 minutes at 25 Celsius ambient temperature. Now, if we take things a step further, if I measure just the throttle FPS performance starting at 17 minutes to 22 minutes, FPS still averages at 54 frames per second, which is impressive. Typically, prior to this iOS 15.3 or 15.4 update, the throttling usually happens after 10 minutes of gameplay at max settings. Additionally, to further see this performance improvement, if we compare the GPU usage between the 10 minute test I conducted last year compared to my current 15 minute test, here we can see GPU usage drop 9%. After 15 minutes of testing, this device averaged 67% of GPU usage compared to 76% usage it was last year. Last but not least, even power consumption improved. Power dropped to 4.5 watts compared to 5 watts it was last year when I tested. In conclusion, after various testing, the performance has definitely improved. Last year, the iPhone 13 Pro Max would begin to throttle down from 60 FPS after 10 minutes at max settings. Now, performance throttles down from 60 FPS after 17 minutes, but still averages anywhere between 54 to 51 frames per second in throttled performance. However, I still do encourage using a phone cooler if you're wanting to play at max settings for longer than 17 minutes, or you can just drop down those graphic settings. If you're interested in seeing performance results with the cooler, let me know in the comments below. With all of this being said, thanks for watching. Please stay tuned to this channel for next week. I will be conducting several tests in comparisons with the new S22 Ultra, so please stay safe 
and see you next time.